How is it with your soul today? Seriously, how is it with your soul today? Is it well with your soul? It, does your soul feel drained from the activities of a, a long, beautiful fall weekend, visiting pumpkin patches, attending football games, uh, being with friends, or being stressed out from too many activities at, in a short amount of time, even though they were all joyful? Or are you suffering in some kind of way from some illness or just tired? You know, you know, there's help. One of the comforts that I find is Matthew eleven twenty eight. Come to me, all who are weary and heavy burdened, and I'll give you rest. Jesus said those words. And Jesus is there all the time when we need soul food. Food for our souls to help us through one day. One day at a time or through a week or a month or a specific situation or a circumstance. So how do we do that? Well, we can know God to begin with. Do you know God? If you know God, you know that you can have a conversation with him. You can have a conversation with God anytime, any place, at home, in the quiet, at home in the midst of Children playing, teenagers romping around or being glued to their telephones or their social media, whatever. You can pray in your car. You can pray in church. At Biomeda, we have a time of silent prayer. But even if we didn't, the congregation feels comfortable in praying a silent prayer. Sometime, anytime during the service. You can do that when you're shopping. You can do that in your car. You could do it in Walmart. You can pray anywhere, anytime, because God is always listening. We may not recognize that God's listening, but he is. Even when we don't sense his presence, God is listening. It's important that we know that God can bring us peace and comfort and feed our souls, help our souls recover and restore from being drained from all the things that happen in our lives, interruptions, things unplanned, unexpected things, things that are planned, things we expect can all drain our souls. And as, as, a time of fall and Thanksgiving and Advent and Christmas approaches. Everyone is busy getting ready for all of these annual activities and Halloween is a week away. Lots of things to prepare for, lots of things to do for our families. But when we know God, we can tell him our troubles. We can bear our souls because he's not going to tell anyone. We need to be comfortable in bearing our souls and sharing everything on our hearts, good, bad, and ugly with God, because he already knows. And he can help us when we share them with him. I've been preaching about Job. And if you know the story of Job, he had lots of, lots of trials and lots of pain and suffering in his life and lots of loss of family members. And he kept crying out to God and crying out to God for, for help and giving him God his complaints and, and God answered him. But until Job prayed for others, God didn't restore his life. But God did after Job prayed for others, for his friends. God answers our prayers when we pray. We may not get the answers we want, but God does answer our prayers. You can tell God all your troubles and his light will shine. His light shines. His presence is with you. His light will shine through you. It does shine through you. When our thoughts go to God, when we're troubled, when our soul is drained and our soul needs to be fed, we can share all that with God and he will restore our souls. 
He will give us peace. He will give us comfort. He'll relieve the ache in our hearts. He'll relieve the pain in our bodies. He will be there for us. Our world isn't perfect. Our world is still struggling. There's pain. There's violence. There's death. Not only from COVID, but from illnesses that we've been familiar with for years, cancer and other, other devastating illnesses. Missionaries have been kidnapped in Haiti, including babies. Others are not out of Afghanistan who should have been let go earlier. Things are happening in our world. There's divisiveness in churches, not just United Methodist. Many souls are drained. Many souls need soul food. We can rely on God to provide that food for our souls. He helps us to rest. God helps us to keep our perspective. God helps us to find time to spend with him to feed our souls, to restore our souls. We can restore our souls in conversations with God, in reading his word, in having quiet time with him, in hymns, in worship. I prefer an individual time with God when I have a lot of things on my heart. What about you? Let's listen to the rest of that passage from Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. So the next time someone asks you, how is it with your soul today? Will you have an answer? Will you have something wise to share with someone else whom you can see their soul is needing fed, needing to be fed? I pray that so. How is it with your soul today? Pray with me. Loving God, we know that your yoke is easy and your burden is light. And that when we come to you, when we're heavy laden and many burdens, that you will give us rest. May we remember to come to you when our souls need fed so that we may rest in peace and wellness of our souls. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for being with me for hope and prayer for our world today. I hope you come back again. You can find us on YouTube at Biomedia United Methodist Church, Facebook, Biomedia UMC. We're here on Thursdays for hope and prayer for our world and on Sundays for virtual worship. We hope to see you again next week on Thursday and Sunday and tomorrow. Have a blessed day, and until we meet again, may God bless you.